Unexplained infertility has many causes. The diagnosis of unexplained infertility can only be made after a thorough evaluation of both the male and the female partner. The female partner evaluation includes making sure that she's ovulatory, also making sure that her fallopian tubes are open. The male partner evaluation ensures that his semen analysis is normal. After a thorough evaluation, about 25% of couples will fall into this category of unexplained infertility. We think the root causes of this are some subtle either biochemical or immune factors that we're just not good enough to test for. The treatment of unexplained infertility involves getting more eggs into play and also getting the sperm closer to those eggs. This includes getting her to ovulate more than one egg with medications and putting the sperm closer to those eggs with intrauterine insemination. It also includes in vitro fertilization as a form of therapy. The usual course in a younger patient is to start off with um, controlled ovarian hyperstimulation and intrauterine insemination, followed by IVF after three cycles if that doesn't work. For older patients, there's a tendency to move free, more quickly to in vitro fertilization. Couples can continue to have recreational sex during this time because there still is a monthly pregnancy rate despite the diagnosis of unexplained infertility without treatment. A lot of couples ask, how can we fix the problem if we haven't identified the root cause? And this can be a frustrating situation for a couple because many times after a fertility evaluation, they want to know why I can't get pregnant. What's important to know here is despite not having a specific diagnosis, we have very specific effective treatments. Um, and most folks with help are able to get pregnant.